So I get asked a lot of questions about these frames, so I'm going to show you what they are and how to use them. So these are called bar frames because they look like a bar. You might also hear them called interlocking bar frames or stretcher bar frames or if you're a silk painter they are also known as silk frames so they do come by quite a few different names. If you're a needle pointer in the USA mainly you'll probably be quite familiar with these. They're not so common in the UK but they are great for lots of different kinds of embroidery so I'm going to show you how to use them. So probably the most important thing to know about these is that they come in pairs so you get two frames in one set and you will need two sets to make one complete frame. They come in inches these ones and they vary by the inch so they go up by the inch so we've got nine inch eight inch and seven here for example they go quite small as well down to four and five um, and you can get them very large but they tend to be for the silk painting that I mentioned earlier. So if you wanted, for example, a frame nine inches by eight inches, you buy one pair of nine and one pair of eight, and then you can put those together to make nine by eight. So they're interchangeable, which makes them really good. Um, you can just make whatever size frame you want and they're reusable. So you can just take them apart again, change it around to a new size and make the size frame that you want. The other thing that you'll need with them is to fix the fabric on. You'll need some pins like this. And that will just secure the fabric to the frame. So let me show you how to put them together and how to attach the fabric and then I'll talk a little bit about why you might use these frames instead of another kind of frame. So I'm going to use a set of nine inches and a set of seven inches to make a nine by seven frame. These ones I've used before and I'm going to use them again. You can use them again and again they'll last forever and I just want to show you that joint there so you need to make sure that they lock together so that this piece is flat along here. If I do it that way you get a funny joint there so make sure it's that way round and then they just slot together. You can just push them in by hand like so. Make sure you put the right length on the right side so I don't want to put the short one on there because I'm not going to get a rectangle so the long one goes that side. Just make sure it's the right way round so that they lock together so that's nice and smooth. And if you find it a little bit stiff, what you can do is just put it on a flat surface and press from the top. That will go in and press from the top. And you get a nice joint so make sure that the joints go all the way together and there's my frame and then we're just going to pin that fabric to the frame so i've got my pins ready and my fabric so i've got two pieces of fabric here i've got a backing fabric and a cotton fabric and i'm going to use for a project coming up just put those together now i've cut those so they're just a little bit bigger than my frame you don't want it too much bigger or the fabric will get in the way on the back so just make it the same size as your frame plus a little bit just to go over the edge. And the best way to put them on the frame, it's really easy, so I've roughly got my frame in the middle and you can just push it down with your thumb. Now this wood is soft wood, these pins will go in really easily so I'm going to pin the middle first, opposite sides. Don't pull it too much because you can see I'm pulling that side out of shape. But once you've got one pin you can pull against that pin. And these frames are great because you can get the fabric really tight on these. So then I'm going to do the corner so you can see I'm pulling on that corner quite tightly. The pin goes into the wood. Just push it in with my thumb. Do the opposite corners. can see already how tight that that fabric is getting across there. Now you need to put lots of pins in because this is still moving quite a lot here so I'm just going to keep going around now putting more pins in. So start on the long side, go in the middle So 
So just go all the way around with your pins. The more pins, the better, the tighter the fabric will be. So you can see how many I've put in here. Like so, nice and tight to the frame. And that really is a very tight tension on the frame. And I just want to show you as well how to get the pins out because it seems like that might be a bit harder. But all I'm going to do is going to take the two pieces of fabric close to the pin. I'm just going to ease them up and that pin pops out. So if you haven't got a pin in the right place or when you want to take your fabric off, that's how to get them out. So nice and easy to get out as well. So that's how you frame up a stretch bar frame. So when might you use one of these frames? So they're great for small embroidery projects. They're very portable. You can just slip one in your bag if you're going off somewhere. Um, but I would say probably anything bigger than 12 inches, even though the frames go bigger than that, those are more silk painting frames. So 12 inches is getting a bit big for embroidery. So good for anything under that size. So when would you use a stretch of our frame compared to a ring frame? So these are ring frames. You've probably seen these before, quite common. Um, and they do a very similar job. But as you most obvious thing is you can see the difference in shape. But what that does is it gives you on a stretch bar, it gives you a bigger working area. Whereas on a ring frame, you've only got a circle, which is great if you're doing a small design or a circular design. That works really well. But you will get more working area on the stretch bars. Now, you can also get it tighter, I think, on the stretch bar frames because you can pin it all the way around and the pins don't move. And the more pins you put in, the tighter it will be. Whereas the ring frame, you can get it tight initially, but it does tend to loosen off. And you can see that I've actually bound my ring frame here and that just helps keep the fabric a little bit tighter, but it will loosen off much more than the stretch bar frame. So something to consider. So it does take longer to frame up a stretcher bar frame than it does a ring frame because obviously you've got to put all the pins in and I find that I tend to leave my projects on the stretcher bars um, just because of that and I use more stretcher bars than I would ring frames um, but the ring frames are really good if you want to carry your work around the stretcher bars are as well but if you want to take your work out of the frame quickly the ring frames are better from that point of view. Such so as a very quick guide to stretcher bar frames. They are nice and simple and easy to use. And when you might use a set of those over a normal embroidery hoop. So I hope you found this um, useful. Um, do give us a thumbs up if you have. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out all our other videos too.